welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Ren and I make videos a couple of times a week about books and pop culture and today I have an unboxing which is very exciting this is an unboxing as you can see by the title of the 10th anniversary edition of Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe if you've been on my channel for a while you will know Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe is in fact my favorite book ever so again on this channel I'm talking very much about how much I love this book. And since the last time I spoke about Ari and Dante, I got an Ari and Dante tattoo. That's like a thing that I did. So I'm gonna show you that as well. Um, here it is. It says, there was something inside of me that mattered, which is a quote from when they go camping. Please excuse my label. And I have um, some stars and planets and stuff, which is the universe. Um, and this is my um, star sign con constellation. Um, but yeah, I got an Ariane Dante tattoo. So I'm excited for this to join it. Um, I cannot believe this book is 10. Uh, it came out in 2012. I first read it in 2014. But the fact that it's 10 is insane. It means that for eight years of my life, like this book has been in my life and it changed my life. It sounds so dramatic to say it, but I genuinely think it changed like just how I view so many things and how I feel and think and just kind of like genuine like, the way my brain works like it, it just impacted me so much the way that Benjamin tells stories is so beautiful and he writes in a way which is just so unique like I've never read a book written in in the way that Ben can tell a story so um yeah I, I just I just think the way he tells stories is so important and the stories he tells are so important so let's let's unbox this I've not seen it in person uh, it's not out in the UK I had to had to get sent. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. <gasps> oh, oh, it doesn't feel how I thought it would feel. Like it, I thought it would be like, um, this is it by the way. It would be like matte, but it's not. Oh, and this is raised. Oh, this is actually, this is really pretty. This is really nice. And I like that, um, the people that did the original like design have done this one. I follow them on Instagram. It's Inky Mole, a link down below, who does the art and the, the writing and everything. Um, and I do believe also did the script for uh, like the writing on screen for the Ariana Dante movie. Um, Cause there was some screen caps that um, she posted recently. So um, yeah, so I, I think this is beautiful. Also didn't realize it has sprayed edges, which is just beautiful. I love this. This is so cool. This is so pretty. Um, oh, oh, look inside, look at it. There's a forward from uh, Francisco X Stork, which who was written this year, which is beautiful. Oh, I love this bit. As I read, my heart felt and understood the unique and universal love of the two boys for each other. For this insight, for the gift of empathy into a previously unknown world, I will be forever grateful to the author and to my good friends, Aristotle and Dante. The best way I can describe this experience is to say the book awakens something good in me, something that should not be forgotten. I believe this special quality, this experience the book evokes is one of the reasons why this book continues to thrive. There is also a preface from Benjamin as well. I feel like I've been talking about this book for a long, long time. In fact, it's rare that an entire day goes by without the topic of this book I wrote 10 years ago coming up one way or another. I don't think I'll ever know where inside me this book came from or any other book I've written. I always tell people that I write for the most selfish reasons. I write because I have to. It is the only thing that gives a real order to my life, which seems to be always on the verge of chaos. I wrote Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe for me. I needed to write it because I needed a story to help me understand how the word gay lived inside me. Yes, they were 15. Yes, I was 57 when I wrote it. Where is the connection? The connection lives somewhere inside of me and I do not know how to talk about how that works. I only know that I am still alive and this book is one of the reasons why I'm still sitting here writing these words. The impulse that led to the writing of Ari and Dante was that I needed to talk about homosexuality in a way that other people would be able to stop and listen. People have ideas about us. Many of those ideas are hateful and untrue. Two boys who fall in love doesn't sound very threatening to me, nor does it sound like it should be threatening to anyone, especially two boys as tender as Aristotle and Dante. And Ari and Dante are boys not so different from millions of other young people. For as long as this country has existed, so many of us have died for simply demanding inequality that we were refused. So many queer people never lived to see one day of freedom. The same is true for many Mexicans. I am proud to be the son of people who have helped make this country great. 
and my people have never been offered a word of gratitude for what they have given. Instead, Mexicans and Mexican-Americans have been treated shamefully by millions of bigoted Americans by, and by the policies of our country. This hatred isn't new. As a member of the queer community, of the Mexican community, I feel a responsibility, a duty and a privilege to use my voice in representing my people in my writing. It pains me to have to say over and over that we are, after all, just people. Racists and bigots have attempted to take away our rights and our dignity too many times in history, and that hasn't stopped. And yet here we stand, we queers, we Latinos, have withstood every insult, every attempt to treat us as less than human, and we continue to fight for what we should not have to fight for, the rights we deserve as citizens. That is just a little bit of this preface. Um, I won't read all of it because I want you guys to read it. I think this is so important. Like he says here, no book I've ever written will e or will ever write will match the greatness I have witnessed in my readers. They found in themselves the courage to confront the difficulties of their own lives and to become who they knew themselves to be. And, for the, and often for the first time, they have revealed their beauty to themselves and to the people they love. They were able to do those courageous things, not because of my book, but because they brought their open minds and open hearts when they opened a book I happened to write. I think that's beautiful. And I think that is what it is as well. So much of this book does explore what it was like, you know, that hatred and so many different forms of hatred and how people are bigoted and racist and how queer people are treated. Do you know, like this book is set in El Paso in Texas. In Texas, it was still illegal to be gay until 2003. Like, that is insane to me. That is absolutely insane to me. And I think that, like, this explores so many different layers of hatred and discrimination in so many different ways. And I think that then when you see yourself in characters within this book and you see them have those similar stories and then they have the courage to be like this is who I am I think that that does like it sits sits inside of you like every facet of this book like comes just it really does make you stop and think and it does make you stop and listen and I think that it has the potential to just like I, I this book genuinely has has changed lives it has changed lives it is one of the most important books i think that has been written in the modern day like i think it's a book that should one day be a classic i think it's a book that people should read it's so important it is so 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 important and i think you you don't have to look very far to see the amount of lives that this has impacted oh there's a note to readers as well before we have the why do we smile bit that says this is a work of historical fiction set in the late 1980s in El Paso, Texas, on the border of the United States and Mexico. The thoughts, dialogue and behaviour of the characters are a reflection of the time period that they live in and the world they are surrounded by. It is my wish for you, dear readers, that you live in a more inclusive and enlightened times than Arian Dante. I have been told that it has bonus, bonus things, unseen things. So we're gonna we're gonna have a look okay so at the back it says many drafts and much work went into making aristotle and dante discover secrets of the universe the cherished book it became in the pages that follow get a glimpse behind the scenes at two different early drafts of the book's first page and a letter from its editor david gale to benjamin alia sounds during the revision process so oh oh my god so there's there's like a a, a um there's very early drafts of chapter one this is interesting Don't mind me, I'm just having a read. <laughs> this is really cool. This is beautiful. This is at the end as well. This is it. And then the back has the, I wonder what that was like to hold someone's hand. I bet you could sometimes find all the mysteries of the universe in someone's hand. But yeah, this is the 10th anniversary edition of Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Like I said, it is currently not available um, widely in the UK. Waterstones and Foils don't have it. But I got mine from Blackwells. They have it and also Book Depository have it. It was cheaper on Blackwells. Um, too bad that we wish. I'll send, put a link to it below if you would like to get a copy of it in the UK. I like that we have something that celebrates it. I think that it's also good and it kind of brings a like awareness to, to it existing. So people that haven't known in the last decade that it was a book, 
if you know bringing it out and people talking about the special edition of it then more people are aware that it exists um i hope that it does become available in waterstones and foils because having it out more people will be aware of it i just think it's so important i love the forward i love hearing ben talk about it in the preface oh i like the little, little cloud um but yeah this is the 10th anniversary edition um, what do you guys think of it? I think it's really beautiful. I'd love to know what you guys think of this. I also would love to know if you guys have read Arian Dante. Um, let's have a lovely discussion of Arian Dante in the in the comments. Um, what you're most looking forward to when it comes to the film. Because that's a thing. It's finished. It's a whole thing. Uh, the film also uh, is in talks to go international now. Um, it was at the Toronto Film Festival uh, earlier on this year. Um, and there's now talks. I'll link an article down below about it going international. So I am slowly uh, losing my mind. Uh, and I'm just so excited to finally be able to see it. Because everyone involved put so much work into it. So yeah everything's Ari and Dante and it's beautiful and everyone needs to know about this story so if you have not read Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe please do do that like I said if you guys are new here I make videos about books and pop culture a couple of times a week so if you want to stick around and join this feel free to hit that subscribe button also the little notification bell I do also have options to become channel members now so that is something that you can do if you want to and also in the description there is a link to my podcast my podcast is called Hawkins Do You Copy it's a Stranger Things podcast we talk all things Stranger Things so if you're a fan come and check us out thank you guys for watching I hope you're doing really 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 well and I will see you next time goodbye